Hello everyone, so I just wanted to talk about how to find common internal tangents so we didn't have to rush through it in class. This is going to be similar to number 14 in your homework. Remember we are not doing 13, so one less, even though I've added 10. So we are, are doing 10, are not doing 13. So let's take a look. So circles O and P have a common internal tangent. The radius of circle O is 3 and the radius of circle P is 2. If the distance between their centers is 13, find the length of the common tangent. So I have two circles drawn for me because I hate drawing circles. Uh, this is the larger one in size, so I'll call this my circle O with the radius of 3 and call this circle P with the radius of 2. And notice I'm drawing the radii going towards each other. That's called our line of centers. So I'm going to connect those two. And if I know my total distance between the centers is 13, and I have 5 taken care of already, this middle section will have to be 8. All right. So the procedure for this is laid out in your book. It's on page 462, but it's kind of confusing. So let's work through it together. We're going to draw our common internal tangent between these two, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Then you want to extend each of your radii to these points of tangency, or points of contact. And remember, radii to a point of tangency are perpendicular. Then, kind of weird, but from the smaller circle, we're going to draw a line parallel to our common internal tangent. Kind of going in the direction of where, if we extended our other radius, we could connect. So, since I'm parallel to this line, i still got a right angle in there. I've drawn a rectangle. And with that rectangle, I also have a right triangle. Now let's look at what we have with the right triangle. I know that's 3. Well, I drew this parallel, so this is 2. So this whole thing is 5. This whole thing, we knew from the beginning, was 13. So if I look at this right triangle, I have a hypotenuse of 13, a leg of 5, which means my other leg must be 12, my 5, 12, 13 triple, which means my common internal tangent is also 12. And that is my answer. So this is the process that we're going to use to solve these types of problems. Diagram will be necessary. Won't always be a triple, won't always be nice, but a diagram will help get us there. Hopefully this will help, and I'll see you in class.